In today's video we are looking at the brand new integration with tasks. This is another flipped classroom tutorials. Now as you will have seen from the previous video and from exploring the new Gmail UI, you can have a direct access to your tasks window. Now tasks is being developed as a standalone app. So go ahead and access it from within your new Gmail account. You can simply click on the icon tasks. You can see it says welcome to tasks and click on get started. Now this will activate your tasks integration with Gmail. Now you have two completed tasks and I will leave these here, but I'm going to add a brand new task within my Gmail. So let's go ahead and click on add a task. I'm going to say send email to myself. And I'm going to add a bit more information by clicking on the edit details. Now once we've done that, we can add details about that program. I'm going to add it to my own list and I'm also going to add a date. Now this needs to be done by the 28th. Now as you can see, what's new is that you can now add subtasks. Now these are tasks within the task. This was previously not available, so we can do that now. We need to do research. We're going to add another. We are going to send the mail and then another. We are going to follow up. All done. Now I'm going to keep this task as it is and I'm going to click on the back button. Now as you can see here I have my task and I can simply tick each subtask icon or I can click the main task. Now, is this the only way to access our tasks? No, it is not. You can also dive into your calendar. And in your calendar, you will see that first of all, the task is available in your calendar. When I click on this icon here, now as you can see, it is right here. It is available for me to mark it as done. But you will see that in this view, you do not see the sub task list. Now, Another way of accessing your tasks is by clicking on this little arrow and you will have noticed I'm in the new user interface of calendar. And when you click on the arrow, it pulls open your task list. Here you do see your subtasks and you also see the completed tasks. Down below, you have an extra menu structure that you can open up and you can delete the entire list. You can create a new list or you can refresh the list. Now, when you go into this task up, on top, you can edit the details about the program I am thinking about. And as soon as I go back to the list, it has been updated in Gmail. There we go. The update has immediately been pushed out. With the update to Gmail and tasks, Google is also pushing out new mobile apps. So let's go ahead and open up the tasks app on my Android device. Now right here you will see that I have the tasks app installed and I will have a link to both the iOS and Android version in the description below. Now when you tap the icon the tasks app will open up and this is the very first time I'm opening it up on my device so let's go ahead and click on get started and here you will see that I now have the exact same tasks available to me within the application. I can click on the different sorting options. I can order, I can have the date, I can even rename this list and I can delete all completed tasks, similar to what you saw online in the calendar view. Now on the other hand, I can add a new task by clicking on the plus symbol. I can add a new task. Let's call this the send a letter task. We're going to add some sub tasks to this as well. So we're going to add some details about the updates. And we're going to save this by clicking on save. Now again, you will notice that on the mobile app, I have to dive into the task to add subtasks. Now the mobile app is very similar to what you will see on your computer when you are looking at it within the new Gmail. Now these all sync within a couple of seconds. So when you've added a task on the computer, it will be sent to your device. When you've added it on your device, it gets sent to the computer. So all in all, a very powerful 
new application from Google within G Suite. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, a thumbs up and share it with a friend. I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.